This is Isaiah 26 and verse 13. O Yahweh, our power, are the lords besides thee have had dominion over us, but by thee only will we make mention of thy name. All right, before I go any further, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory in, in, in that exact name, all right, in which we just read. All right, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakak Wadash. All right, which is the only names which salvation could be obtained, whether you could receive it or not. The name of Yahweh, and the name of Yahweh Shai, man. The name of the Heavenly Father being Yahweh, and that of His Son being Yahweh Shai. All right, I'd like to give double honors to the elders and the apostles at GMS Great Millstone, who through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai rule all of the nation of Israel well today. Once again, whether you can receive that or not, and peace, love, blessings, and salutations be unto the elect of the house of Israel who are pushing this truth in sincerity and in truth and in faith, and who are able to receive these things that are needful for salvation this time, man. All right, and the reason why, you know, not everybody could get it, Isaiah 26 and verse 13, O Yahweh, our power, oh, it's lucky. O Yahweh, our power, other lords, all right, meaning masters, besides thee have had dominion over us. And when you see the word Lord in all caps there, that word Lord goes back to Yahweh in the Paleo-Hebrew. When you see it in all, in all lowercase here, that word goes back to masters, okay? It says, but... By thee only will we make mention of thy name. All right, and that's what you're seeing, man. The spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai has his, has, has, has his people calling upon his name, man. All right? Even though these wicked rulers that are in rulership today, all right, have, have had their dominion over us. And in doing so, like I said, man, they've turned everything upside down. Okay? Like I've said before. Okay, they've turned they've turned everything upside down with the planet Earth being under the wrong rulership, man. All right, just like you know, you might be at a at a place of business. Okay, your work spot. They throw a guy in who who isn't meant to be in charge. You're gonna have chaos, man. Okay, let me go ahead and jump to uh, Deuteronomy just to just to prove that point. Okay, actually, since Job is right here, I'm gonna hit Job first. This is Job nine. And 24 and it reads the earth is given into the hand of the wicked he covereth the faces of the judges thereof if not where and who is he right so it's the earth has been given into the hand of the wicked man okay so he who's in rulership today all right once again being being esau all right specifically the elite of esau okay or beginning with the elite of esau okay have have been given the earth man okay they own the banks they own all mainstream media, man. They they own everything. Okay, that's why when you go to if you go to the woods, you'll see the pathways say private property. Now you know somebody doesn't just go doesn't just own this mountain, but yet it belongs to the banks, man. It belongs to Esau. You see, Esau stole it, and and and, and the banks profit off of it, man. All right, but anyway, you know, not focusing too much on that, just proving the point that you know the wicked are sitting on top right now, man. And they've 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 misconstrued everything. It goes on. It says he covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who was he? And the judges are us, man. The Israelites. We are the proper judges over the planet Earth. The planet Earth was given to us and as, as an inheritance. That's why the scriptures tell you the meek shall inherit the earth. The meek are at bottom right now, man. But it's prophesied for them to inherit. Okay, let's go ahead and grab it. This is uh, Deuteronomy seven and six, and it reads, "For thou art an holy people unto Yahweh thy power." Yahweh, thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all the people that are upon the face of the earth. So you see that, man? He's chosen you Israelites to be a special people above all people, man. Above all the different nations and kindreds and tongues on the planet of the earth, man. You Israelites were meant to be in charge, okay? You Israelites were meant to bear rule, okay? And that's what you have. Right now you have. All right, let's go ahead and jump back, all right? Before I start, you know, talking too much. This is uh going back to Isaiah 26. I'm gonna jump up to verse one. It says, In that day shall this song be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city, salvation will Yahweh appoint for the walls and bulwarks. And what's this talking about, man, is the kingdom of heaven. You see, the kingdom of heaven is where we're gonna have peace. That's our resting place, man. This ain't our place of rest right now. Esau has defiled everything, man. You can't rest here, man. Okay? Unless you are those elites. Okay? And those elites even even persecute and and and, and burden their own people, man. 
Okay, that's why you have Edomites that are sitting homeless and, you know, you have, uh, uh, you know, everybody's just in need of salvation, man. All right, even Esau's own people are, are crying out for salvation, man. <laughs> Going on verse 2, it says, Open ye the gates that the righteous nation which keepeth the truth may enter, right? And that righteous nation, all right, is the nation of Israel, beginning with the elect thereof, because the elect are those that are keeping this truth, man. The elect are those that are striving for this knowledge, man, that are striving for the crown, that are striving to get the hell up out of this place that our enemies have, have, have ruined, okay? All right, because this here, this life that we know, man, this ain't living, okay? But the scriptures tell us what's living. They tell us what's to come, man. See, that's why you see so many men out there risking their lives for Yahweh by Shem Shai, man, because we know that there's something greater to come than what you see before you, man. But you see, he didn't give, he, the, Esau is a faithless dog, man. All right, he don't, he don't have the power to do that, man. Let me go ahead and jump. Actually, I'll go ahead and uh, hit verse one real quick. This is Revelation 21 and one. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. Right, and what's that? That's the world that we know today, man. All right, you see in this in this vision that John had seen. All right, this this world that we know today was 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 no longer in existence, man. It was destroyed. Okay, and that's that's what has to happen, man. It has to be destroyed. But going on, it says, verse two, and I saw the holy city from uh, uh, the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. Right, adorned for her husband, man, and that's and that's those uh, that's that's the elect, the elect of Israel, man, who will be delivered from that destruction, and who will be made to inhabit, all right, the planet Earth, okay, and to rule over the planet Earth, because not not everybody's gonna get destroyed, man. The end isn't the end, all right. The end is more so a beginning, and we'll go ahead and get that too, all right, all according to the will of Shem Yahu Shai. But let me go ahead and jump down. Um. This is verse 7. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his power. You see? Shall inherit all things, man. You see, you, in order to be an heir, that means you're an inheritor. Okay? We, the Israelites, are inheritors of the planet Earth, man. We are the true powers out here, man. Or, I mean, not right now. Right now, we might be in a place of, 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 of being put on bottom. Okay? Right now, you're not in a place of power. That's why right now, you got to stay humble, man. You got to acknowledge that you're under these curses still. You ain't going to be alleviated from these curses until until this time that we're reading in Revelation 21, man. Until the kingdom of heaven is established. Okay? Or until Esau is destroyed, man. Okay? But once once Esau is destroyed, all right, those curses will be uplifted and it'll be time for our blessing, man. And it's time for Esau's curses to flourish. Okay? But let me go ahead and uh, jump further down. <clears throat> This is uh, Revelation 21 and 10. It reads, And he carried me away in the spirit into a great high mountain. And this mountain that that, that it's referring to, all right, is the mountain of, uh, of Israel. Okay, it says, And showed me that great city and holy Jerusalem descending out of heaven from the heavenly Father. Okay, and remember what we read in, in Isaiah uh, 26 and 2. Okay, that... Uh, that the, the, the gates were open for that for that nation that kept the truth. Okay, for the nation of Israel, for the for the elect thereof. It says <clears throat> Um Con. And had a great wall. Oh Salakia, yeah, I skipped eleven. It says, having the glory of the heavenly father, and her light was like unto a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal, and had a high, great and high wall, Salakia, and had a great a wall, great and high. And had twelve gates, and at the twelve gates twelve angels, and names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. You see that, man? The names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. You see, so those that nation that was led in, okay? That's 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 speaking of the nation of Israel, man, beginning with the elect. Okay? But you know, with that, you know, I just wanted to to, to pull this out, you know, Lord willing, a little little motivator for for some Akiyam, and Lord willing, uh, Lord willing, uh, you know, brethren, we're edified, man. Um, but until next time, I'm going to say Shalom, call Allah, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shabbat, Shemrakakwadash, double honors to the elders and the apostles, and peace of the blessings and salutations unto the elect, Shalom.